Okay. I hope everybody can hear me all right. And today um, you are, will be working with microscopes. And so I would like to, you know, run through a little basic info and some safety guidelines and just a little information about how you would handle and work with a microscope. Well, first off, let's start with uh, some of the parts of a microscope. This is a nose piece. This is what you look into directly to see your slide. These are your objective lenses right here that you turn to different to how close up you want to see your slide. And this round black piece with the two clamps, these clamps right here is what holds your slide together. And the black piece underneath of it is called the platform. This is where your slide goes, that whatever you're wanting to see up close. And underneath this bottom piece is the light. This will allow you to see once you place your slide on here. If you don't have the light on, then you won't be able to see anything. Okay, and that's just a basic rundown of what a microscope, a basic microscope you would be using. Now, there are some safety and some procedures that you need to follow when working with these. You want to make sure that you always, always carry the microscope by the arm, which is this piece right here. When you're carrying this and moving it, you want to always have one hand like this on the arm and the other one placed at the bottom underneath. And when you're walking with it, make sure that it's at least chest high. So that, that way if it's too low, then you, you may bump into a table and you may damage it or drop it. And these are really expensive, so that would, be, that would not be good. I don't want that to happen to you. Okay, and another thing, do not touch the lenses. Like, don't stick your finger directly on the lens or these lenses, the objective lenses. Because they're very sensitive, and but if they are dirty, raise your hand, and we will come over, somebody will assist you, and we will wipe it with a special type of cloth. So remember, just don't ever touch the lenses with your fingers, because your fingers have oil and stuff on it, so. Okay, and handling your slides, your slides, this is what you would put, whatever you're looking at your specimen, and make sure when you hold them, Hold them from the outside. Don't pick it up from the center and get your fingerprints on it. Because then, you know, the fingers from your oil will just, it'll just, it'll, you'll see that on there and it won't be clear. It'll be all fuzzy. So make sure you do that and just be really careful and gentle with these because they are very fragile. And if you happen to break or drop one, please do not touch it. Raise your hand and the teacher will take care of the broken glass. And when you put these on the slide, you have these two clamps, these two metal clamps. Once you securely put the slide on your microscope, you want to take these clamps and make sure that they are on the outside, the top of the outside of the, the slide. So that way it doesn't like move or slide or maybe even fall off your platform. So that's another big key. And it basically, when you turn on the light, you'll just have a plug and there'll be a switch. Turn it on and off. I don't have it plugged in right now, but you want to make sure that that's on before you look because you won't be able to see anything unless the light's on. And always remember, when you're done, when you're done looking at your specimen or whatever you're looking at under 
in the microscope. Um, be sure to always clean your slides for the next group or, you know, next class that's doing the same experiment. Always keep these things clean. You want to rinse off whatever hat you had on there, so residue or anything. And once you've cleaned your slides, you want to make sure that you clean your microscope too as well. Maybe the platform has some debris or you know some of the stuff that fell off of the slide that you had underneath of that got on the platform. Make sure everything is like clean and tidy on the platform and you want to turn on make sure you turn off the light before you unplug it. That's a that's a big that's a big thing. And once you have everything clean, once your microscope is clean and you're done with your experiment, you want to make sure your, object, your objective lenses, which were these, that I explained earlier, you want to make sure it's on the lowest objective lens, which would be this one right here, the longest one. And you want to make sure, using your knobs, your adjusted knobs, you want to make sure that it's to the lowest point it could be. Which is like that. It's not touching the glass, but that way that nothing, nothing will happen or bend or break. It's just, it's securely and it's, it's firm. Once you have done that, you will then want to take um, your dust bag and place it over it, which majority of teachers have because you know you don't want dust on your microscopes or anywhere on the lenses or anything. So once you place that on there, once again, remember to grab it by the one hand on the arm and one hand underneath of it and have it about chest high when you're carrying it, walking it back to where you got it in storage. And that is basically the procedures and some safety, um, some safety measures that you may take while using a microscope in your classroom. And thank you for watching this video and enjoy your experiment.